Now, beyond the majesty and royalty that echoed with each step, there was the symbolism, but the ground they stepped on was also a stark reminder of the rich history the two nations share. Before the house on the hill became the official residence of the President of Kenya, it is served as the official residence of the Governor of British East Africa at a time when Kenya was a colony within the British Empire. For the monarch, therefore, status is a relic of a long reigning influence that shaped the country's future. For Kenyans, it is the home of the first family, and as a former British colony, the grounds on which the royal couple walked yesterday, even planting trees, inspecting a mounted guard of honor, and receiving a ceremonial welcome complete with a red carpet and a 21 gun salute from the Kenyan Navy, are in many ways a game. The gleaming white of the status, a stark contrast to the red brick of Birmingham Palace at 10 Downing Street in London, was a sentimental symbol of an indelible colonial past. Built in 1907, status, formerly known as the Government House, served as the official residence of the colonial authorities' top representative in the colony. According to the historians, it was the residence of Prime Minister from Independence until 12 December 1964 when Kenya became a republic. Since abolition of the post of Prime Minister, it has been the official residence of the President. The King yesterday visited the house that once housed the most senior representative of the Empire in its former protectorate, Lord Huick of Glendale, formerly Sir Evelyn Barry. From 1952, to 1957, Sabaring was governor and commander-in-chief of Kenya and chairman of the East African High Commission. On 20th October 1952, Governor Bering declared a state of emergency. The British would later carry out a mass arrest of Jomo Kenyatta and 180 other suspected Mau Mau leaders in Nairobi, and the photographs show Evelyn Bering as governor of Kenya in the early 1950s inviting President Kenyatta to state house. With the organizers and Buckingham Palace carefully choosing the venues the couple will visit on their first official trip to the former colony, history will certainly hang heavily over the king's visit. The state house is therefore as important to the royals as any other place they plan to visit in the land of the rising sun. This is MQBA News.